Бокен, блядь. I found your goal. Or like... Uh. Hey. Just a last minute vlog. We're going to Germany to pick up a car. So I decided to get a car in leasing. And it's going to be Porsche. Guess which one? I will give you some time to guess. Just getting my car full. Let's go. <laughs> oh, no, I have to pay. So we go not only to pick the car, but also uh, I plan last minute I plan to um, to visit Porsche Museum, which is in Stuttgart. So tomorrow I have we have the whole day to explore. So so far it's a um, uh, Porsche Museum and the uh, little villages in Germany. So probably maybe visit a castle or something. But the highlight, the highlight of tomorrow's day is the car. So I think you already have the idea which car is gonna be. So see you there. Just arrived, almost arrived to Balingen, the city where we were heading to. It is almost midnight and I just wanted to show you something guys. Uh, in Germany, not sure about all Germany, but here in the south there are some cabins. Like in Germany, you know, um, you have the shops, you know, where you can buy food, all these uh, groceries, but um, they're not open that late, usually until 10, maybe latest is midnight, but for example, I couldn't make it because we were driving, it was really late. I uh, still have an option to buy something because in Germany they have, uh, yes, as I told you before, cabins where you can buy food. I never done it, okay, but we will see what they have, okay? Let's see. You have casa, I guess. Yeah, I think you can, uh, what, put coins. Uh, I think, unfortunately, you can pay, what, with coins? with paper i mean with cash right i don't i cannot read i mean i read german but what is it can i pay with card no you can buy honey you can buy even some uh what is it shoop shoop what shoop <laughs> shoop <Snowden. laughs> eggs you can buy eggs so yeah basically um vending uh vending machine with food and it's open 24 7. Well, unfortunately, I cannot, I cannot buy anything, but I have all my food with me, so I'm safe. So, morning. It's uh, 10.30 almost. So we arrived to Germany, to the village nearby Wallingen. So now we're gonna drive around and see some places. I hope I will find something interesting for you guys. I don't know, like some park or city like Ballingen, Schomburg, Rottweil, and maybe some churches also. So the car, we will pick up the car a little bit later. So, but now um, a little bit of sightseeing. We will get two cappuccinos. Maybe one bread, bread mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, So we just uh, got into some cafe, just a little cafe before we go, before we continue our trip. Got some cappuccino, croissant is not mine, okay? It is not mine, right? So don't push it in my feet. So maybe we will go um, uh, check some shops, but after after we will drive to Rottweil and I hope to find that place in Rottweil. I don't remember which one. Is it Rottweil or Ballingen? But there is a very, very beautiful place with beautiful architecture. 
in streets, shops, everything. So today is Friday, supposed to be open, okay, in Germany. Hopefully we will find it. So, arrived. Not sure if it's the center center, but looks beautiful. It's actually a Rottweiler. We will try to capture as many details as we can, but we don't have much time today because we we drew here only for a day, so and there is so much to see. We cannot possibly cover everything. I hope you will enjoy. Let's check my German. Buch Voita. Voita? Buch Voita. Spitz Nagel. We are on Hauptstrasse. There is DHL trying to uh, knock me down. I was always curious about how it manages to stay on the building, the painting. Because can you imagine? Well, Germany has all four seasons. Do they uh, repair that or maintain that all year round or every year, once a year? Or maybe it's a special paint. I don't know that that is really strong. Same, same in Czech Republic. Like we have all these beautiful paintings, writings. That one, see? I don't know how it manages to stay. And it looks quite... Good, not affected by the weather, by the seasons. Walk and blood. I think it's uh, something like we're glad, we're glad, glad something. I don't know, I forgot. My German is. <laughs> okay, I can read German, right? When, when jeder Mensch auf der Welt. New einen einzigen anderen Menschen glücklich machte, wäre die ganze Welt glücklich. Aha. Okay, it says. Okay, let's let's see my level of German. When each uh, person, I think, in the world. Oh my God, I don't know. Let, let, wait, Google Translate. <laughs> Basically, if you do something good to other people, you know, the world will be great. Something like this. Oh my God, my, 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 my head is about to boil. Yeah, we're just basically walking around, just uh, exploring the city, very freestyle. Oh, so beautiful. I can't. It was not a church, it's just a tower, and I think it's under maintenance. So we, we came across some balls. My haters close them. I found them, guys. I found your gold. <laughs> it's outside. I think you can just come and uh, take something to read. Let's see. Okay, it says that do not bring books when the shelf is full. So basically, you can just take a book. I'm not sure if you can take it with you or take it, read it in a park, I don't know, and bring it back. But I think, I think you can just take it with you. Yeah, so it's basically a giveaway. So I can just take any book, but I think all of them are, <laughs> will be difficult for me. Nice, I like this. Uh, it's this little stuff that I like <clears throat> in Germany. But in Czech Republic, we also have similar. You can, usually you have uh, some book stands or some people leave books um, at the bus stops. I already had that before, that experience. I just come, there is a book, you know, I take it. It's nice. Much better than throwing them away, right? Take your books to the uh, book stand or to library, okay? Then or donate them, okay? Don't, don't, uh, don't throw them away. I love it. My God, how? How you okay? Too loud. How you cannot <laughs> fall in love with this beautiful scenery, huh? Oh my God, Germany, south of Germany is my favorite. I love it. 
really, um, really delicate work, I see. Mm. Now from Rottweiler we draw to um, Schomberg, also a small town, because I wanted to, uh, to drop by Beckerai and try some bretzel, my favorite. This is my favorite Beckerai, okay? Always fresh, tasty, with butter, okay? Let's see if they have something for me. Finally, uh, got that. Uh, mm. Unfortunately, they didn't accept ca um, cut. So Arthur had to run to the nearest ATM. But now, finally. Mm. Sweet, salty, and coffee. Perfect. Oh my god. What a blessing. It's nice. They, um, they cut it and they put um, butter here. I love, I love Germany for that. So we finished a little bit of mess here. Don't show it. <laughs> Don't show it. Oh, one euro. So the next stop, supposedly, uh, Stuttgart, Porsche Museum. So, um, the last time we checked it was open today. Not sure if you have to reserve tickets or you can just come in, buy them and get in. But I hope everything will be fine because I was looking forward to it. As you know from my previous, um, from my previous video in Dubai, I'm a huge fan of cars, especially Porsche. So, we will see which models, which new models I will, I will uh, see there for the first time because in Dubai there were tons of them but I think, <coughs> I think here in, um, in Stuttgart there will be much more so I really hope that I will be impressed so uh, we arrived to the Porsche Museum Lots of Porsches at the uh, at the parking. Birds of a feather flock together. Right? Am I allowed to touch? <laughs> I can smell all the years <laughs> from the car. Maybe I should get this one instead, huh? Siren. Siren, the light. A little bird told me that this is the first Carrera, the ever, the first ever Carrera with engine 2.7 liters. Well, stylish, okay, good taste. I can, I can only talk about style. Damn, this car seen better days. Okay, this I have no fucking idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's engine, okay? I guess. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> if you know, if you know what it is, let me know in the comment section, guys. Okay? I'm standing here trying to look sophisticated. Actually, I took this just to, you know, it's hot. <laughs> So now I'm more competent here. So this is from a cartoon course. My, my competence ends here, okay? Mm -hmm. Naughty girl, like me, okay? Just found another Decepticon. Looks like a capsule, you know, some capsule. Just shoot yourself to the outer space. <laughs> They look at you. <laughs> They're chasing me. Oh my god. I feel uncomfortable, okay? Let's go. What's this? It's 
Sounds like me after cheat day. <laughs> okay, which one? Uh, I have to hold on. This Porsche 93. I found my uh, car dream, my dream car, my dream car, look. I need to get to attach, uh, I don't know, for the kids, for the car keys, so that I will not lose them. Keychain. So I got myself a little souvenir. And this one. This one for uh, home. This uh, I will I will eat now <laughs> if I manage to open it. Oh my god, people make so much money with this. Can you imagine? It's just chocolate, but people buy because it's a Porsche. So I'm about to eat uh, Carrera 911. Mm. Tastes like um, chocolate. <laughs> But when it's Porsche, it's five times tastier. Come on. Ha. So, well, uh, you probably had like one second since the the moment when I was eating that Porsche, the chocolate one. So you had one second and I had like two weeks already. I had a chance to get not only the taste of the chocolate Porsche, but the real one, all right? Turbo S 911. I would really like to share my experience with this car. So first time I'm driving this. And to be honest, there are pros and cons. So I will tell you which ones. So what did you like about this car? Well, the driving is definitely exceptional really fast okay like crazy you just get uh if you hit the full you know pedal it's crazy like the acceleration is crazy so i would say the size of this car it's not big it's really nice to to drive around it's really small really comfortable what else like the design of course expensive car so the design is really really nice and the smell in the car but I mean the outside, you know, the outside is, of course, like really, really, really beautiful. <sighs> so I'm not going to tell you about, you know, the insides of the car. I'm not a pro camera girl, right? <laughs> I'm sure there are girls who know much more than I do, but still. But yes, the design, okay? Come on, it's beautiful. You cannot deny this. But I must say that the driving, since it's, um, it's a sports car, so it's really, it feels like driving a plank when you hit the uh, bumps only for the highways, all right? So the design, the speed, the size of the car, the interior, I love it, okay? So apart from that, I like the, the attention that you get, ob, right? Especially the kids, the kids are the most uh, they act more um, sincerely I always get the the thumbs up it's really funny um, well I would say that's it with the advantages the disadvantages oh yeah I have so much more to to tell there not so much space in the trunk the trunk is in front to go grocery shopping is a nightmare Especially for me when I buy a lot, right? Bodybuilder. Oh my God, the fuel. This baby, okay, eats so much. I think I had to, I think I had to fill it up like at least once a week. Uh, you cannot drive with your friends. I guess it's not like family car, right? But still. So this is a little bit, um, it's different. Uncomfortable, for me, uncom uncomfortable. I like driving with uh, with friends but here. So I don't know, you can fit a baby maybe, two babies, or two small guys, or girls, <laughs> anyway, so, 
And another drawback, when I was driving from Stuttgart, from Stuttgart uh, to Prague, what, it took me like five hours. Oh my God, the noise from the engine, because the engine is in the back, right? It's horrible, it's really horrible. I started having a headache after an hour of driving. So I had to, sometimes I had to stop at, um, at a gas station or just to have a break from that. But yeah, this is something that you, that I'm not used to and I did not like it. So yeah, apart from that, I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice car for a holiday, right? For a few days uh, or as people say, it's, um, it's a weekend car or a car for a weekend. As you can see the, what you call the height. It's crazy, like to get out of the car. My knees hurt already. I don't need any more pain than that. The height, the trunk, the uh, how much you have to pay for the gas. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, yeah, nice car for a short period of time. Otherwise, I would not bother to get it as a everyday car. Mm -mm. So, ooh, hoo -hoo. Okay, especially if you have cramps. This is fucking crazy. I'm telling you, I had cramps in Stuttgart. And it was a pain in the ass to get in and out. So, okay, let's... Oh, yeah, another annoying thing. That this shit, it gets back to... I don't know, like, we have this set, you know, one, two. I, I'm sure you can uh, set it up somehow, but I haven't managed to. But, yeah, every time I, uh, I get back to the car, I open it, and this goes back to its to its um, starting position. It's annoying. 